To begin, though, with your weather, it is raining out there on this Wednesday morning. Welcome to it. I'm Rita Garcia. And I'm Samika Knight. Happy hump day to you. Meteorologist Alita Loresca here with a look at our forecast and our rainy commute. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. I don't know about you, but I had to do one of those dash from the door to the cars this morning because we've got the steady light rain across the area. Much of our area covered with some color this morning. If you remember yesterday, I told you over South Texas, that leading edge of moisture would be drifting northward and that has verified. Now the disturbance that was over the Bay of Campeche that we've been watching the last couple of days no longer has any formation odds to form into anything tropical. However, the moisture from that is definitely helping to bring us this steady light rain this morning. And here you can see our local radar showing some pockets of moderate rain further out to the west. Otherwise, just a nice gentle rain falling for us. It is going to make for a very slick ride this morning. Those of you in the Brazos Valley seeing some of the lightest of uh, that intensity, some of the heavier pockets down along the coastline. And when you take a look at future track for the next few hours, it's going to stay like this. We may start to see some clearing on the northwest side of town out toward the hill country first as we get closer toward the sun coming up. But it's not really until lunchtime where we start to see a lot of that rain getting shoved off toward the east. That's as that disturbance that area of low pressure that we've been watching over the Bay of Campeche now over the northern Gulf of Mexico and that as it swings to the east will also take away most of the shower activity most of the moisture so that should leave us late this evening under mostly clear conditions. At this hour, we've got some rain falling in and around the Southwest Freeway. This is our ABC 13 tower camera. It's got a little bit of moisture on the lens. We do have some raindrops falling from our Galveston tower camera there, right along Seawall Boulevard. And since midnight, we've picked up a little over three tenths of an inch of rain there. And I think this is going to be very similar when we look at other observation sites. We're not gonna see one, two, three inches of rain. That's not the kind of system that we're dealing with this this morning, but a couple 107 inch of rain. That's what we're looking at when it comes toward rainfall total. So it's not going to be a drought buster, but it's definitely in need. So let me show you your hour by hour forecast because we're going to keep the 40% chance of rain that we have in the forecast today, mainly in the morning. And then those rain shower chances drop off as we get into the afternoon. Temperature wise, it's going to be noticeably cooler. Temperatures, I think, only warm today, somewhere in the low to mid 70s. We're talking about our next cold front though I've got the new timeline for you and what's ahead for the weekend coming up on a um, wet Wednesday everybody I'm Rita Garcia and I'm Samika Knight happy hump day to you meteorologist Alita Loresca talking about the forecast and how long we will see rain good morning it's a messy start to the morning mm -hmm. so make sure you slow down on the roads this morning we'll also pick up see some breezy conditions small craft advisory so uh, if you are planning on heading out there along the waters today please be extra careful if you can just stay in harbor here's a look at the Saturday into the mid 70s we'll talk about that next cool front and what's ahead for the weekend coming up. Good morning again on this Wednesday morning. It's hump day. I'm Sydney Knight. We're off to a busy one. I'm Rita Garcia. Let's check in with our meteorologist Alita Loresca. Alita, you describe it as gentle rain, but certainly enough to slow you down today. Absolutely. Anytime Mother Nature gives us some free water, sometimes drivers have a hard time on those roads and they're affected by the morning rain showers. So you probably need your umbrella for a <coughs> bus of headed to school or to work this morning, but you won't need those umbrellas most likely as we get into the afternoon. Afternoon. We'll talk about your weekend forecast because I've got some great looking weather on the way. Details coming up. I'm Rita Garcia. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jacob Rascone. Yeah, and I'm Samika Nye. Good morning to you. Meteorologist. Really quick, what were you saying is happens in Texas? You saw that mom and you said what? Everything's bigger in Texas. That's what they say. <laughs> That's what they say. I say everything's bigger in Dickinson. I was like, wow, I've never seen anything so big. Out the door, rain cooled in the upper 60s. Uh, meanwhile, the dew point temperatures in the upper 60s. We are getting a nice little cool break with some of this rain, my friends. And because of the clouds and the rain cooled air, temperatures will not warm all that much. I know that last couple days we've been somewhere in the low 80s. I think this afternoon we'll manage to see highs only warm into the 70s. So here's a look. This is the past six hours. So it's been raining fairly steady, steadily, but it's been very light rain. And you can see some of those rain showers are now starting to thin out. 
that will be the pattern as we get into the afternoon. So for the next few hours, expect that rain to be uh, ongoing with some of the heaviest of that rain over the last six hours falling down closer to the coastline. So most areas are picking up less than a tenth of an inch, maybe a couple more one hundredths of an inch of rain. And then this is blowing out of here. As I mentioned, some of those clouds thin out for this afternoon. So it gives us just enough clearing to allow temperatures back up somewhere into the mid 70s. We still have a cool front to track. I'll have the details on whether or not we see rain with that front. And what about the weekend? Do we have another cool, refreshing break? All those details coming up in a few minutes, Rita. I wonder if they Could broke a imagine? record with that. I'm sorry? I, said, I wonder if they broke a record with that. So when you were, in, check. When you were in school, which was very recently. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you, Thanks, did Jacob. you wear the huge, the huge mom? Well, you know, what? Growing, growing up in California, we didn't have moms, but we had corsages. Mm. I remember having... Do you guys know what a corsage is? It's like yeah. a big, okay, I just wasn't sure. I didn't know if that's a thing in, in Texas, right? <laughs> so because the moms, I was shocked. All of my, you know, friends, you know, they, they were making them for their kids. And I'm like, what do they do with that? <laughs> and they're like, they wear it. I said, you can't even see the dress. I'm like, some of these things block their head. I'm like, okay, sorry. Those moms are amazing. And so I know who to go to. If it's not Samika Knight, it's our friends watching us in Dickinson. I'm going to you. Give me a a couple of years though, a few years. All right, weather wise for today, uh, potential rain over the next 24 to 48 hours. It's not going to be raining all day for us just during the morning hours, but the heaviest of the rain is going to stay offshore. We've been fairly consistent with that messaging since earlier in the week when we started to see confidence that this area of low pressure that's developed over the Gulf of Mexico, non-tropical, does not have a name, but nonetheless, and we talked about this yesterday, regardless of not having a name, it's got a lot of moisture and that's what's getting tugged in our direction. Some of the moisture from Lydia also moving in our direction. That made landfall last night and will continue to track over the northwestern parts of Mexico and all of its moisture is heading in our direction. But here's that area of low pressure that I just mentioned. Here is a look, the latest from Future Track. This is gonna continue to stay to our south. Notice the heaviest of the the rains it's just to the east where the center of circulation is we're kind of on the northern fringes and as that continues to track toward the east we say bye-bye to the rain I know we need the rain and thankfully uh, it's been fairly steady it's going to remain steady again over the next few hours you can see that over the next 12 hours I'm gonna keep that rain chance at least inland areas in the 40% range closer to the coastline that chance remains about 60% and then most of us will see some drier conditions by the this afternoon out the door this morning we definitely have some raindrops on the lens temperature wise in the upper 60s low 70s out there and because of the cloud cover and the rain cooled air that's going to limit our warm up for today some strong winds developing along the coastline small craft advisory through seven o'clock this evening so please be careful if you do plan on getting on the waters today Here's a look at temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. As I mentioned, uh, if we get any sort of thinning in the clouds a little bit sooner, you get more sunshine, temperatures could quickly pop and briefly hit the mid to upper 70s or low 80s. For tomorrow morning, not bad. Temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s. Now tomorrow, it's not completely rain-free, but I did lower the rain chance because I'm just not seeing a sign of any sort of widespread showers. Very isolated, less than 20% for tomorrow. Some clouds for sure, as our our next cool front moves in and it's still penciled in to move in late Friday into early Saturday morning. Break